this cat is compromising my marriage. Am I absolutely insane? I swept that aside. I'm gonna go get this cat any possible way I can. <laughs> Someone posted a picture of a little tripod cat. The message was kind of like, needs to be out of the shelter today. The staff are euthanizing their kittens. I was staring at his photograph, staring at his photograph, and then, this is gonna sound crazy, his eyes were like, Mike, come and get me! <laughs> Something in me was like, I'm coming to get this cat. Where are you located? Then I looked up where the shelter was. Like, specifically. It was about eight hours away. <laughs> Part of me was like, okay, am I being just crazy and like manic? Okay, so I am in the car and I'm on the way to pick up Zorro. Excited, I'm nervous. Part of me thinks I'm absolutely insane. But when I saw his face and I saw that there was a possibility that he might be euthanized, there's something in my gut that said, go get this boy. Stay tuned. I left here at seven. By the time I actually got there, it was dark. Look who I have. I have Zorro. I'm so happy. We are gonna flip around and we are gonna drive straight back to San Francisco. With stops and everything, it was almost 20 hours. When I finally got him home, it was about 3 a.m. The next morning I woke up because I was excited. I was like, ah, I want to see this little buddy. <laughs> Excuse me. Have you ever heard about no privacy? At this point, I am absolutely just, I love them. I have two cats of my own. My husband was very clear and adamant, like, we are not getting a third cat. So I actually put out a message to the world, like hesitantly, like, hey, Zoro's available for adoption. <laughs> like me thinking, like, nobody responds, please, nobody responds. Because at this point, I was starting to think, like, I am never going to be able to let go of this cat. My husband's still saying we're not keeping him. The third time that he had said that, I just, I wasn't listening. For the fourth time, he's like, serious talk. I just want to be clear that I am not open to having a third cat. I again just went silent, because I'm like, okay, like in court, like, that is your argument, and my argument is, he's not going anywhere. So I'm like, I'm keeping him, and definitely, I feel like now we've bonded. We would like to announce that Zoro has found his forever home with me. So uh, with Doro, he's worth it, and uh, putting my <laughs> merits on the line. <laughs> that sounds ridiculous, but it's true, I don't care. At the same time, he's kind of falling in love with Zoro. So he came to the beach with us and like had this moment, and Zoro kind of goes to sleep next to him sometimes. I'm willing to risk it all for Zoro. Look at you, we're just waiting for the doctors. They're not gonna poke you, okay? I love you. Like, comment, and subscribe.